Bullets in the chest and back. Those are the injuries last night to two men at the Sitco gas station on South Bend's west side. WSBT 22 Suzanne Spencer is here. Suzanne, you were there last night covering this as breaking news, and the shooting adds to the tally a growing list of incidents in this area. Right, and since the beginning of this year, Rick, police have been called out to the gas station and surrounding area dozens of times. But last night's shooting has neighbors on edge about feeling unsafe in their own community. Just call and check on you, make sure everything is all right. Those are the kind of calls Tony Mayfield keeps getting in her South Bend neighborhood. I stay on my pins and needles all the time because wherever I'm at in my house, if I hear gunshots, we're to the floor. And that's what she did Thursday night near her home by the Sicko gas station. Five, boom, pop, 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 pop. Grabbed the, my baby and grabbed the phone and rolled to the floor. Outside her window was this. Dozens of police officers circling the gas station. Police say shot spotter picked up at least 11 shots through the gunshot detection sensors. But it's still unclear who is behind it or if the victims and suspect even knew each other. Our investigators are working on it right now. Uh, trying to piece together uh, some evidence that was located there and uh, a video surveillance uh, from the store trying to piece together the events that led up to the injuries. But this isn't the first time police have been there. Since January 1st, police responded to 34 incidents at the station, last night being the first shooting. But just 10 days prior, there was another shooting in the surrounding area and two calls of shots fired earlier this summer. This is one of those uh, areas that sometimes is a hot spot. Um, so it's a it's an area where we're going to allocate manpower and have over the uh, you know past few years. But Mayfield says there's work to do and hopes she and her family doesn't have to live in fear of bullets whizzing by their door. It's horrible. You just don't know how horrible it is to live like that. This gas station is on the nuisance radar, it's important to point out, meaning police continually look at data to decide if they should add more patrols or even place the armadillo there. You'll remember that's the armored vehicle they use to try to minimize criminal activity. Now, they did place that vehicle there really pretty recently, and residents said it significant, significantly reduced crime while it was there. Police did just release the names of the victims involved in last night's shooting. Their 19-year-old Devez Harris and 22-year-old Lindsay Wright and Jennifer were told one of them has been released from the hospital. It's Suzanne, thank you. You know this